All right. So I'm actually continuing my tour for deck seven, and we're continuing from the theater, which is the forward of the ship. You can see the theater is closed off right now. I don't want to open it up just in case any of the cast is going through a rehearsal or anything like that. So on the starboard side of the theater uh, is one of the entrances to the local. We can see from here it's quite busy in there, so I'm just going to do a quick tour to show you the gaming area and to give you an idea how things changed. So one thing you will notice, comparing this between the Bliss and the Escape, is that our safety boats and tenders are actually inside the ship, in the Bliss, or in the Escape rather, you would see those safety boats and those tenders outside the ship kind of hanging off the side. What this means is they've reduced the amount of room on this deck specifically, and the things that are hit are, of course, the casino, and uh, to a little, and to a more of a degree, uh, I think uh, the local has lost a bit of room. Um, but I don't think it's really, they've definitely rearranged certain things to kind of make up for that. So you can see here at the local, there's a small paid bowling alley. Uh, I have never used it. I have seen multiple people using it. They seem to be enjoying themselves. Um, I've been meaning to give it a try, but never end up doing it. So maybe this cruise I'll, I'll make the plunge and see how it works. Got a lot of standard arcade prize machines over here. back into filming the crowd but you can see it's just a little less depth deep than the Oshi hands you would expect on the escape walls. So she hands I think it had like another like 10 feet of room to put tables on and there were some more arcade games that were located in there. They've eliminated those extra arcade games like the Mario Kart and a few of the other bonus games that were there and instead replaced that with seating. So I think that's how they kind of made up for the lack of space that was in uh, compared when compared to the Oshi hands that was on the uh, escape. So here's where you would get a seat at the local uh, if you were looking to get a table. Pretty popular lunch spot, especially when port days are going, uh, because the main restaurants aren't actually operating. Again, if you're not familiar with the concept, the local is basically supposed to be kind of like a pub. Uh, and other Norwegian ships, there was a similar idea called the Oshihans. The menu is almost exactly the same. So when you look at... So now we're moving from where the local was uh, to the actual casino. So big change in the casino on the Norwegian Bliss is that it's no longer allowed for you to smoke in certain open sections of the casino. Instead, there is now a separate and closed and separately ventilated smoking room uh, for the casino off to the side. So smokers are kind of relegated to that and you can't see it in this video, but the smell of cigarette smoke that I'm used to from having been on the casino on other ships is just absolutely, it's absent on the Bliss. So here's the atrium, or the, the opening, it's not quite the atrium, but the opening to the main plaza uh, for the casino. And you see this goes all the way around got a number of different card tables.
So all the games are off right now because we're at Port in Tortola. And, of course, the casino is closed during that time uh, for legal reasons. This is the high roller room. Uh, on the escape, this room was on the other side of the ship, on port side. Now it's on starboard side. So my understanding is the selection of slot machines are a little different. Uh, they got some new ones that you might not have seen before. Uh, the Shark Raving Mad, uh, I've seen, I haven't seen on any other ships so far. And then there's another one that Jamie's a fan of that's, uh, I can't remember the name of it. If I see it, I'll point it out. Apparently, that one has been quite kind to her. So as you're about to see, this is the smoking room for the casino. I'm not going to go in there. Uh, I used to be a smoker. I don't really like the smell of cigarette smoke because of that, because it's very tempting to me. And, you know, it's easier for me to avoid that altogether. And now we got the Skyline Bar. There's a snack area. If you come here when the casino is open, especially later in the evening, uh, they tend to have snacks over here, which is great, because that means you don't have to go and grab yourself something from the buffet. Uh, they'll have all sorts of finger foods down here, and cakes. Uh, this is the Skyline Bar over here. Uh, this is a big change from what it looked like on the Escape. So in the escape, this bar was a little wider, went back farther, and this area now that's taken up by games uh, actually had a stage and they would have live entertainment. I think this, this change is a bit better. You know, it definitely makes sure there's enough games for everybody. There's no, you know, it's not that hard to find your own slot machine, <laughs> which is very important. And I never stopped at the live entertainment on the escape in the casino A because it's the casino uh, and B because it smelled like smoke so and a lot of that live entertainment still exists it's just now in other venues on the bliss all right This is the aft of deck seven. It's not nearly as exciting to get out the side doors on here and go around the, the deck seven wraparound anymore, uh, just because all the lifeboats are on the way. Uh, but you can still go out there and use that as a way to get around the ship.